Hi everyone. I am Sonia Kuller and this is Cute Little Yankee. Hi guys. So in this video, I want to talk to you about how you can convert and work with a set of UniPro KB identifiers. So UniPro KB also stands for UniPro Knowledge Base. It's a central hub for the collection of functional information on proteins with accurate, consistent, and rich annotation. That's what the site says. So if you have a set of IDs on, you know, these protein IDs that are given in a UniPro KB ID, how do you convert them to IDs that you can work with, like gene names or the entree IDs, which I'm a huge fan of, or even ensemble IDs? So I just want to show you the resource for doing that. So here I have a list of about 100 different UniPro IDs here. So I'm going to show you how we can do this. Our goal here is to convert a set of UniPro KB, UniPro um, knowledge base IDs, like, you know, protein identifiers, to convert those to gene names. That's our first task that we will do here. So you can see these UniPro IDs here in this nice little list here. So 100 UniPro KB IDs. So first things first is, um, you know, sometimes we could get this as output from different programs. So I'm just going to copy and paste these here. I'm going to do data, text to columns, delimited here. And I'm going to separate them on this colon here and finish. And I'm just going to move this here. Boom, and then delete. And I have my IDs here. So, you might already kind of notice right behind us, you know, Yankee's pointing to this resource on UniPro that is called Retrieve ID and Mapping. So what we're going to do, and you're going to see that kind of here, is we're going to end up putting in these UniPro ABIDs here. Let Yankee point to it too. We're going to put in all those IDs that we talked about in this port here. And this part is available on the UniPro um, AB website. Yeah. So now, Yang Shi, let's see how we can make sense and convert these. So we have these unit pro IDs here. So we're just going to go down here, control C, copy these IDs. And I'm actually going to go to the site here, which is unipro.org. So again, it was talking about how this is a central hub for the collection of functional information on proteins with this accurate, consistent, rich annotation. Um, you know, it has um, the core data mandatory for each entry is the amino acid sequence for the proteins, the protein name or description, um, taxonomic data, citation information, and they try to add in as much annotation information as possible. So they have a lot of different um, information here that we can look at. But let's go to this part here, which is how we're going to do our conversions. Just going to go to retrieve ID slash mapping here. So let's go there, Steve ID slash mapping. And we can choose a file or so, but instead I'm going to paste that list of 100 different identifiers. I've pasted this uh, list here that we had. So I just pasted this right in here, this whole list. Hey. So it says that you can enter or upload a list of identifiers. You can retrieve the corresponding unit um, entries to download them or work with them on this website. You are you can convert identifiers from a different type to UniPro identifiers or vice versa. So you can even convert like genes to UniPro IDs, or you can convert UniPro IDs to gene names. So here we're just showing how to convert these UniPro KB identifiers, you know, from UniPro KB. That's what we have, UniPro KB IDs. That's what this file that was. It had given the IDs like UniPro KB, knowledge base, AC.ID, accession ID. And we can convert it to many things. Um, you know, so here we want to convert it to gene name, so we can click gene name. But I want you to see that you have options to convert this to entree gene, gene IDs, which I'm a huge fan of. 
you can also convert this to ensemble ID as well. So let's just convert this. So basically we are converting the unit pro AB14 um, ID to the G name. That's what this conversion here is doing. From and then to. So then what we do is we can just click submit. So we're just going to do this from and to, and we're going to click submit to convert from these unit pro KB14 ID to the G name that is corresponding for each of them. So we click submit. And indeed, what we see is we can have the corresponding unit pro KB IDs. These are the unit pro IDs. Over here, this is in the from part, and this is the two. The two part has the gene name, the corresponding gene name. So that's awesome. So we can convert from and to. So for this list of these unit pro KB IDs, for instance, this Q92841, we found that it corresponds to gene name DDX17. And then the next one, the P46092 corresponds to CCR10. So then the next one, this P46092 corresponds to CCR10. So we figured out this mapping here, which is all exciting. We, can, we figured out this mapping here. That's great. So what we can do then is, um, and I also want to show you that uh, we could just download two things. If we download the target list, what the target list is going to do is just select this part and give this to us. So it's just going to select the two part for us. That's what target list does. So if we click the target list, then we just get all the gene names here that were mapped. So if we just select target list, we just get all the gene names here that were mapped. That's what target list does. But and, and then we can save this as well. We can save as. Or what we could do is we could save it in a mapping table here. And the mapping table is just going to get our from and our to here as a nice little list here. And we can see all the entries as well. You know, all these different entries for these different genes, but they, uh, you know, what, what corresponding um, unit for KB IDs they, they correspond to here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hi, he's excited to learn. Oh, oh. Excited to learn. Oh. There's a nice little drum roll. Yeah. And a drum roll, please. Oh. So basically, what we can see here then is that um, we have this from and this to, and then you know, downloading the mapping table is just going to um, give us this from and to as a nice little list. And the from again are unit for KBIDs, mm -hmm. and the two is the gene name here. So Basically, this is what we have here. And then we could just save it as a text file. So if I save this as a text file, then all that. So if I save this as a text file, I can just say that these are UniPro map IDs, uh, genes, or something like that. I can save it as a text file there. And then when I go back to the Excel document, all I can do then, so I've saved it as a text file as mapping, I can just go here or I can go to data. Mm. Data, and then I can get data from this text slash CSV file here. That's what this is. And then I just go here to Unipro map ID genes. And it's just going to connect here. And then I'm just going to do this load. And I have my column and then here, so I can call this from column just being the unit pro AB. And this too is the gene name. We can just delete this, but we can see how we've already done the mapping. And just as a sanity check, like let's say, 
let's look this up, this DDX17, this gene name. You know, this is a unit for KB, and then this is the gene name that we have, right? So let's see what this gives us. So DDX17 is a protein coding gene. It's DEAD, dead box, uh, helicase 17. A disease associated include Rift Valley fever. Uh, there's a lot going on here. So we want to see if indeed this cube, let's look up this thing here. Let's try looking up this term in this and see where we can find this unit for okay. So let's see if this is a match. Let's go here. And indeed, we see that the unit for KB Swiss protein is Q92841. So this gene, that's what we found. We ended up finding, and what we were going through is we went from this ID all the way to this corresponding gene. That's what we did here. That's exciting. Yay. Yay. Oh, you want to applaud? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, what we want to do next is we can also just do some other validation. You know, let's just try another example just to show you how cool this is. So maybe we can look up this Adam 17 gene. So let's look up Adam 17 and let's see what it's associated with. So Adam 17. This Adam 17 has this unit post, a Swiss protein of P78536. P78536. Indeed, that's the exact map. So what we went from, we went from essentially this right here. Oh, eeks. This maps with this. So we figured out, we essentially just got from here to here, and then we map this all the way to this gene, because this gene, we, we basically, we said that this maps to this unit post Swiss protein ID, and then this ID, the conversion that we did was from this ID all the way to this gene, which is indeed what this gene here is representing, this Adam 17. So this is showing you the whole pipeline, and this is what's so special about what we did. We did this conversion right here. So that's how we can do this conversion and then work with the result. Another thing we can do, for instance, like let's say we just have these two, or we could also, uh, you know, if we have just even two, we can put even two down and we can convert not just from gene name, but also like onto a gene ID, you know, have these IDs here. And then we can look up this Q5S007. And that could be LRRK2 as well. In here. And we could see that this LRRK2 gene has this unit post with ID of, you know, this Q5S. So we can copy this here. And this is for LRRK2. Okay, great. So essentially, for instance, if we can see, is that we went from this UNIPRO ID here all the way to an ENTRE ID. So this map to an ENTRE ID, which is essentially 120892, which is what this is over here. And then we can always look it up and then we can always see that, hey, this actually maps to this gene, which maps to this gene here, you know, from further analysis. L I I K two gene. That's what this is actually. So what we did is we can also apply for mapping unit pro ID to gene names. We can map them to an entry ID. Which is, I'm a huge fan of entry ID. And then so from the unit pro ID to the entry ID here, unit pro to the NCBI entry gene ID, and then this gene ID we can just look it up here. So we can do the same thing, you know, unit ID to ensemble ID as well, or any of these things and vice versa. So I just wanted to show you again, very quickly, how you can go from a set 
of unit book AB identifiers and how you can go to gene names or you can extract other things about them using this retrieve IDs. So again, we had this set of unit for um, KB IDs. We converted them to um, the gene names here. And there might be some that couldn't be converted, but then we have to see other resources for that though. But that's the idea that, you know, there's this mapping that we can do. So we can map them to entre gene IDs as well. We can, you know, I'll map them to like ensemble. So this is just like so to map them to ensemble. So this is just kind of like what we can map them from these different IDs. Rep protein, rep nuclei, uh, protein, protein, biogrid, complex protein, M bank, allerg uh, GOM. There's so many resources here. So I hope that these will be helpful for you guys. You can do um, either direction. You could map the gene names back to protein identifiers, for instance. Like, let me just show that the reverse mapping for you guys, just to kind of prove that too. You can just go from the gene name. Here, are these same gene names, you can throw these back into this list. And then instead, you know, for these gene names, we could just say, hey, I want to go from gene name to Unipro KB. So all they did is I just threw in the reverse, like, you know. And so all they did is I just threw the reverse and this DDX17, all of these genes here, I just threw these into this list here. And we can go from gene name to Unipro KB ID. So we can go either or. And then we can specify the organism like Homo sapiens. And indeed, we have like this entry that we can use as well. We have the entry and we have the protein names and other features about those as well that we can learn. But yeah, I just wanted to keep this a very quick video and just basically show you how we can do this little conversion from Unipro KB IDs to like entry IDs, um, gene names, and you name it, just to get some more insight from our list of Unipro KB IDs. I'm Sonia Kuller, and this is my cute little Yangshi boy. Oh, hi, Yangshi. Meow. So I hope that you liked this, you found this helpful. So if you did, please like it. Um, please subscribe, please share. And uh, in any case, please reach out with any and all comments and questions that you have. So I'm Sonia Kuller, and this is cute little Yangshi. And little Yangshi is giving you a little heart. Mm -hmm. Little Yankee is giving a little hug. Aww. Thank you guys, and do check out this beautiful resource on the Unipro KB.